Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Now, look, nobody in any state of any political party thinks dead people should actually be able to vote, quote unquote. However, it is true that states and counties around the country often have wildly different laws regarding how frequently the voter rolls are checked against the list of deceased people. Now, while election administration is largely run by states and municipalities, not the federal government, the feds do have one major tool in their arsenal, money. So a new bill in Congress called the You Must Be Alive to Vote Act would ban federal transportation or education funds from being dispersed to a county unless that county compares their voter registration list against Social Security Administration death records at least annually, at least once per year. Uh, an exception would be made for law enforcement grants, which would still be allowed. And it was introduced in the House by Texas Republican Representative Brian Babin. Now, supporters argued the bill is necessary to prevent voter fraud. They say if there's too much voter fraud, the trust in our entire system of elected government would crumble and fall. Opponents counter that the bill is a solution in search of a problem. Between 2000 and 2014, with more than 1 billion votes cast in U.S. elections, there were only 31 documented cases of voter impersonation. Now, I am strongly opposed to voter impersonation, unless that voter is Robert De Niro. You voting for me? You voting for me? Yeah.